who've watched the videos and seen a lot of these pitches, throwing a lot of different pitches, and are wondering how they do it. Today we're going to try and show you a little bit of something of how they do it. And everything that I'm going to show you is something that works for me. That doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You might have to try a little something different, maybe grip the ball different, scuff the ball different, or your release point might be a little different. So you got to try a little, uh, couple little things and to see what works for you. First thing I'm going to show you, the three most important things you got to remember. One, the ball. It takes sometimes four or five different balls that I have to scuff up to find one that works the way I want. So if you're just trying one ball and you're trying all this stuff, it's not going to work. It probably won't work. Scuff up a bunch of different balls, try them different ways. I use cement, some people use sandpaper. You got It's personal preference. Same with the grip. So I like to grip mine with fingers closer together. Some people like to grip them like a baseball. It's all going to depend on your personal preference. And the last one, the thing is your release point. That's everything. Uh, when you're throwing drops, your release point, the ball has to be on the side, side on. When you're throwing screw balls, it's going to be on the top. So release point is going to be everything on all your pitches. First one we're going to show you is the slider. It's the easiest pitch to throw, easiest one to control, and the grip that I use for the slider is like this with the holes facing out. Alright, the next pitch we're going to do is a, is a riser. A riser is another pitch that is easy to control, easy to throw. It just With this new ball, it doesn't rise as much as the old one, but it's still an effective pitch when you need to throw strikes. And the way this one works is going to be with the holes facing down. It's going to be thrown side on. And the grip I use is like this. is the drop. The drop is one of the hardest pitches to control, but once you get this pitch, it's a very good pitch to have, especially if you're in a newer area where people haven't seen it a lot. But even in New England where people have seen it a lot, it, it's still an, an effective pitch. It's also a good pitch to throw for a ball. People will chase it a lot. And the way I do it is I throw it with the holes facing up. Again, showing you the grip. All you have to do is throw it sidearm throw it up and making sure that when you release the ball, the holes are facing up. Goes like this. Alright, another one is a screwball. This is a very, very good pitch. It's another pitch that's hard to learn because it's hard to get, find your grip for you, find a release point and to control it. So this is probably one of the more difficult pitches, but again, it's just another good pitch to have if you can find a way to throw it. The way I do it is I grip it like this. And the way I do it is I hold it with the holes up like a drop pitch. But when I throw it, the release point is going to be up here like this with the holes facing out, almost like a football. Okay. Next pitch we're going to learn is a drop curve. And again, it's another pitch thrown with the same grip as a drop and screwball. The way it works is you're going to throw it with the holes facing you. you grip it the same way as a drop. But when you throw it, you're going to throw it submarine. And you're going to throw it so that the holes are facing out. Some of these pitches, you're going to need to flick the wrist turn it over, just try different things. Everyone has their own way of making the pitch get a little more spin. The more spin the ball has on it, the more air goes in the holes, the more the ball's gonna move. So, again, experiment with different releases. Snapping the wrist, cutting it, just whatever you gotta do. Next pitch we're going to do is the changeup. Some people throw it like a regular baseball changeup. 
the circle change. But a lot of people in New England and uh, in the Northeast are throwing it by putting a finger in the hole. Everyone, again, is different. People grip it different, throw different pitches with it. I throw it like a straight change. And I use the index finger. I put it in up to the knuckle. Grip it just like that. Changeup, you can throw all sorts of different pitches. You can throw every pitch that you throw off of the changeup. You throw the drop like that, you can throw the screwball like that, you can throw the riser, all different pitches when you get comfortable with the release point of your changeup. So another pitch we're gonna do is a little more complicated the next couple pitches. And this one is just a slow curve. You're gonna throw it just like a baseball curve. The difference is this one's gonna move a lot more and a lot of people don't like to throw it because it's so slow, but the thing is, it's just an off-speed pitch. Again, you're trying to screw up the timing of the hitter, and also with a lot of movement. So it's, even if he's sitting on it, it's not an easy pitch to hit. You want to make sure that you're keeping the same arm speed, because if you slow your arm down, you're going to tip the pitch. So the thing with the curveball is the grip I use is the same as the slider. All right, the next pitch we're going to do, I throw it like a riser, the hole's facing down, and I throw it submarine style, but I come around like this. We want the ball to come around, almost like a screw ball, almost like a, a lefty curve ball. It's going to come around like this, and it's going to have a lot of movement, and it's going to be hard to throw for a strike. It's going to also be hard to learn once you, you have to get your release point on it, but it's worth trying. That's about it for the pitches that I'm going to show you. The thing to remember when you do this, I said three basic things. Work on a lot of different balls. They're not going to all work the same. Another thing you have to do is remember the grips. All the grips are going to be different for some people. Try different things. Experiment with the grips. And lastly is your release point. Sometimes you might be frustrated trying to find a certain pitch. It might be all in the way you're releasing it. Just a little adjustment might make all the difference in the world. So. Good luck and I'll see you on the field.